Hi, it's Graham Martin, I'm the recruitment guy. I just want to talk to you about the CV, so bring the camera in a little bit, please. Now, let's call this chap Tom. He's from South Africa. Now, the first thing is, I'm not saying this is a good or a bad CV, I just want to explain a bit about what he's done. Now, possibly in South Africa, different rules apply, but I don't think so, because I've got some private coaching clients who I look after, and they still stick to the two, maybe three page, but generally two page CV. So this guy's come out and he's got a great picture of himself, which I know is becoming increasingly popular. I tend to suggest that you avoid it in the UK and the US, although I do know some Eastern European countries favour it very much. But what made me chuckle is this guy's got a picture of him at a wedding party. To be fair, great picture, but what does that make us want to deduce from this chap, Tom? Well, I don't know. I suggest if you're going to put a photograph, you don't put one at a wedding or maybe at a swimming party or when you're out with your mates having a few beers. Um, <clears throat> secondly, um, he's got here that he's male and that he's engaged. Now, again, in the UK uh, and the US, avoid whether you're engaged, married, divorced, separated, widowed. It's not relevant. Um, likewise, um, we then move over to an introduction. And what's interesting here is... I'm going to read it out. So this will be the first thing that I'm going to read about this guy, Tom. Values and motivations are the key to understanding the principles I live my, my life by and in turn make informed decisions that assist my personal career management. I don't know what that means, actually. I'm a reasonably bright guy, but I, I don't understand. Clearly, he's only interested in joining organisations where there's congruent values. Well, that's obvious. Making career plans is easy to forget, especially when our immediate concerns are things like meeting financial responsibility, which in most cases are not necessarily a value or a strong enough motivation to fit. Look, I could go through this, but it's just, it's just not right. He's then talked about values and motivations. Essentially, he's saying that you know his word is his bond, but a man's word is all he's got. I really don't think this is relevant in a CV. No guts, no glory mindset, that's what he's about. Well, maybe he wants to join the Marines. Um, He's got a whole bunch of fairly subjective opinions here about his own ability. Um, and, for example, um, embraces change and anticipates risk, responds decisively, coaches and reassures others. Well, so he says. We've got no real evidence of this. I'll pick out one other thing. Um, integrity. Strive to always do the right thing in a reliable way. Well, I think we all have that deep down. I, I don't know if that's integrity or it's just basic common sense um evaluating creates evaluation processes and evaluates progress impact and outcomes um explains the rationale behind decisions and importance of issues under people management um this is a recruiters and hr managers nightmare i still don't know what he's doing um educational qualifications well Again, this is South African. I can see that he's been to high school. Uh, right, he's got an electrical mechanical engineering degree about 13 years ago. And then later he went and did an HR-related uh, qualification. And at last, here we are, six pages in, and he's in construction as a health and safety executive manager. Um, he's been there for nearly two years. And all this white space, I don't like it. It's a waste. And all this, I don't know, Somebody's gone a bit berserk with what would that package be? Adobe. Adobe. So Adobe's, you know, he's he's got Adobe. Great, but it doesn't really mean to be better as a manager. Um, type of works he's done. I'm not going to show you too much because it's, it's specific to him. Um, talking about a job title and a project he got involved in. Um, and there we go. Period. Now, 2003 to current. Um, I tried to block out all the relevant parts, but again, is this a really great way of showing information? It might be for people that are very visual. Oh, and there we go, a, la a last page with absolutely nothing on it. So really, I think that, you know, Tom sent me a CV. I'm not active in South Africa, but he asked me for some feedback. I'll certainly be giving him that. But this CV, I'm not saying it's bad. It's, it's kind of got too much information in it. And I think, cut out the Adobe. If you go have a photograph, don't put one of you on your wedding day. But in the meantime, Tom's a good-looking fella, and uh, I wish him very much the luck. So that's from me, everything from today. Graham Martin, the, the, the recruitment guy, saying goodbye. Bye.